I just want to introduce you to one more concept, and that's the curse of knowledge. So, Mr. Artunian, there's at least a couple places where you can find out about the curse of knowledge. There's a really neat book called Made to Stick by two brothers, Chip and Dan Heath. One of them teaches at the Stanford Business School. The other, I think, is involved with Duke University. And they write really wonderfully clear, thoughtful books about cool concepts. So they talk about the curse of knowledge. There's also a book called The Sense of Style by a psychologist at Harvard named Steven Pinker, and he applies it more specifically to writing. But we'll start with Made to Stick and Chip and Dan Heath, because they bring this, up this really cool example of a Stanford graduate student who ran a study where she had, on one hand, tappers, and on the other hand, listeners. And what I mean by tappers is she told one group of people, look, tap on the table a song that you think the people on the other side of the table are going to recognize immediately. Pick something really familiar, just tap it out, you can't sing the lyrics, tap it out on the table and we'll see if the listeners can guess what that is. So we'll actually run this experience. I'm going to tap out a song that I think all of you know and we'll see if you can pick it up. So here it goes. Any guesses on what that might be? I guess, let's go blue, I don't know. That would be a good guess, right? That'd be a perfect one to put in there. It's sort of like that. It's actually this song. Right? It's a really, really familiar song, but nobody in here got it. Not because I'm a terrible tapper, which may be true, but just the sense of you have no idea what I'm thinking. And so what Elizabeth Newton found was so really interesting about this study, and she did it with Happy Birthday, which is an even more familiar song. She said, look, only 2.5% of the listeners actually picked that up. That's not that surprising. The really surprising thing is that when I asked the tappers how many people they thought would get the song, 50% of them thought people would get the song. And the idea behind this is that it's the curse of knowledge. The tappers know what song they're tapping out, so they have to think to themselves, everybody else in here must know that. You have the curse of knowledge. It gets in the way of your ability to communicate when you know something so well. And so we can apply this to writing in a really sort of simple way, which is when you're writing something, you have the curse of knowledge. You know what you're trying to say. What's really difficult is for you to imagine what it might be like to be on the other end with someone who has no idea what you're trying to say. And so part of what the old information, new information move helps you do is to realize, okay, in order to get some new song into my reader's head, I need to give them some context. Like if I said, I'm going to tap out an Aretha Franklin song, maybe all of you would have got it.